Oh, absolutely applaud anybody who takes personal responsibility. However, we keep pretending that this is an issue where police officers only must take responsibility rather than the wider society that put police in the, in the position of having to make this many contact with people in the first place. The idea that the police are simply an articulation of society's desires to control bodies and to restrict problems to particular geographies is what is producing most of this problem. If this if the same issues that are happening in poor black and brown neighborhoods were to spill over into the comfortable classes, into their neighborhoods, you would see an automatic, immediate addressing of these issues. But because we allow our police departments, or force them even, I mean, some, some of this is not even their fault, force them to treat these communities as ATM machines, Instead of cutting, cutting services in some cases, which some people would love, or raising taxes, which other people would love, and taking care of young people, and, and like, as Frederick Douglass once said, it is easier to raise a strong child than it is to fix a broken man. But we won't do that. What we will do is let that child be broken, and then, then force our police officers, flood them into the network where we've allowed them to be broken in the first place, and increase those interactions, make them write an atrocious number of tickets, put them into criminal justice systems that, that exact even more money for them, and that fills our budget shortfalls. We have turned, as Mother Jones once put it, we have turned whole police departments from protect and serve to punish and profit. And that is all of society's. All right, I'm gonna get, hang on.